to teach you. I'm always teaching my traders things that happen every eight minutes in the market. That's right, every eight minutes, you will be able to find an, a bear elephant bar every eight minutes of your life. That's how frequently occurring this powerful event is. Let's get back to, to business here. There are really a total, there's a total of 13 bars, all right? Including there are three bars that have no color. But as far as the color bars, there are only 10 bars that the market can throw at you. These 10 bars, the market throws at you over and over and over again, not in any particular order, but there's only 10. Now, I want you to understand the significance of this. I want you to look at every single bar on this chart as if it's a letter in the market's alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So the market has a very limited language to communicate to you through. And this language primarily has 13 letters, 10 of which are color based letters. It has only 10 colored bars that it can throw at you and repeat over and over and over again. And this is one of the reasons why market play is actually simplistic in nature. It is not complex like most traders feel. It's simplistic because it's simplistic. It appears to be complex because we bring the complexity to the game. We bring lack of education. We bring lack of training. We bring our fears. We bring our lack of discipline. And all of that creates the complexity that the market does not have. The market is relatively simple. It's got 10 things it can do. It can't trick you beyond, it can't trick you with 20 things. It can't trick you with 150 things. It can only throw out these 10 bars. And if you know each one of the 10 bars and what statistically happens after each bar forms, after each one of these bars forms, you have a big part of trading mastery under your belt already. But out of these 10 bars, there is one in the bear market that matters. No other bar matters more important than this one bar in a bear market. Now stare at it. Stare at it right now. I want you to stare at it. I want you to take your, your phones out and take a freaking picture of this slide. You can take pictures, you can share this. I don't care what you do with it. This is your gift, this is yours. Out of all the 10 bars that the market repeats over and over again in a bear market, when markets are crashing, when markets are declining, when markets are under sell pressure and everybody's losing, if you zero in on the most important bar of all, the bear elephant bar, the one I have circled here, you are going to be just fine. In fact, you're going to be more than fine because what I'm going to teach you to do with this bar for the next several months, eight months, a year is going to potentially change your life. So make sure you don't miss a single thing that I'm covering here today. The bear elephant bar is our key out of all 10 bars. And this is for the foreseeable future. Now, the bear elephant bar, let me give you some important statistics about it, all right? The bear elephant bar in a bear market has a 70% occurrence rate. Do you understand the insignificance of this, traders? 70% of the time, 70% out of all the other bars, look, out of all the other bars, look at all the red bars. You see all the red bars? Out of all the red bars, you're gonna see the bear elephant bar 70% of the time. The other 30% are the other bars, including the green ones, but especially the red ones. Out of all the red ones, that first red one right there is gonna present itself 70% of the time. That's seven times out of every 10 times. Now that's crazy high. That's a crazy high occurrence rate. Guys, let me explain to you the importance of this, okay? Let me explain the importance of this. I have a tactic that is so, it's not 100%, but it's, this tactic is the closest tactic I have 
to winning 100% of the time. Whenever this thing, this occurrence happens, it's nearly 100% of the time. Now, 70% is lower than that. This tactic I'm explaining to you or I'm telling you about has close to a 98, 99% accuracy rate. Its problem is that it happens every four years during a presidential election year. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm saying, this is, this is a 70% occurrence rate. So my tactic that I'm explaining to you is very high in its accuracy rate, but I gotta wait four years for it to come around again. How can I make a living like that? No, you want something with a much higher occurrence rate. That tactic has a low occurrence rate once every four years. You want something that happens so frequently that you can't possibly take all the opportunities because you don't have enough money. That's where the game of making your living in the markets comes from. It comes from finding reliable events that happen very, very often, that happen virtually every single day of your trading life. Otherwise, how can you make a living from something that happens once every four years? You can't. You have to find things that happen every single day. In fact, what I'm te gonna teach you, I'm always teaching my traders things that happen every eight minutes in the market. That's right, every eight minutes, you will be able to find an, a bare elephant bar every eight minutes of your life. That's how frequently occurring this powerful event is. Let's get back to, to business here, okay? So the elephant bar, the bear elephant bar has a 70% occurrence rate over all the other bars. So you're gonna see this bar and be able to identify this bar and ultimately be able to take advantage of this bar far more frequently than any other bars. And how amazing is that when you combine it with the second statistic, it has an 82% follow through rate traders. Guys, look, you should be circling this right now. You should be taking a picture and circling this. 82% follow through rate, which means that after this bear elephant bar, 82% of the time, you see more red bars to come. That's what a follow through rate is. Not just you, 82% of the time, you're gonna see more red after this bar. Which means that if you bet on this bar, 82% of the time, you're gonna see profits. 82% of the time after this bar, it should go lower. 82% of the time after you enter this bar, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that, you should have money. That means 8.2 times out of every 10 trades, you're richer than you are, you, you're richer than you were before you took the trade. Think about that traders, think about how powerful that statistic is. 8.2 times, which means that sometimes you're going to win nine times out of 10. Sometimes you're going to win 10 times out of 10. So 8.2 times out of every 10 times you play this bar in a bear market, you've got money. Wow. Now it's very rare in live traders when you have something with this high of an accuracy rate that happens all the time, 72% occurrence rate. Usually in life, these two things don't come together like this, traders. Usually in life, if something is very high in accuracy, it's very low in frequency. Usually in life, if something's very high in frequency, it's very low in accuracy. It's very rare when you get the two together where something is extraordinarily accurate, 82% accurate, but it also happens all the time. This is a gift, traders, do you understand? 
knowing this is a gift, it also builds a trader's confidence in, in playing this aggressive when it needs to be played aggressive, knowing that 8.2 times out of every 10. Every time I do 10 elephant, bear elephant bars, I've got money. Every time I do 10 elephant bars, I've got money again. The next 10 elephant, bear elephant bars, I've got money, I've got money, I've got money. It's not the money after every trade, it's the money after 10, 10 of them. So I'm always telling my traders, rush for 10. Get 10 bear elephant bar plays under your belt. And I promise you, if you've done them right in this bear market, at the end of 10, you've got more money on the 10th trade than you had on trade number one. This is very, very powerful traders. And we're gonna look at a lot of examples. So don't, don't worry about that, don't worry, all right? So 72% occurrence rate, 82% follow through rate. Now let's go to the next thing. I am so, I get so hyped. All right, look, step one, remember the bear elephant bar. Let's take a look at what I mean by follow through rate. The 82% follow through rate states that after the elephant bar, the first red bar you see, there should be 82% of the time more downside, more red to come. It's not over when you identify this bar. Now, there's something I have to explain to you about what an elephant bar is. See, if I were to draw a regular bar, this would be a regular bar, you see? So you'd have a regular bar here, and then the elephant bar is next. The elephant bar is taller, it's longer, and the vast majority of the bar from high to low is the color itself. So for instance, you might have a bar that's the same length from high to low, but the body is small. And that's not an elephant bar, despite its length being equal. A true elephant bar, the vast majority of the bar from high to low is the body. That's why it's an elephant bar. And what this elephant bar is sig signifying, traders, is that sellers are very powerful. The bar started here and dropped all the way to here. That's very powerful selling. That's So if there are two elephants in the market, and there always are two elephants in the market, right? There's a green elephant. I don't know if I'll draw this correctly. There's a green elephant, right? Ah, I got a two-headed elephant. Well, you get what I'm saying. All right, this is supposed to be a tail or whatever, but there's the green elephant, and then there's the red elephant, right? There's a red elephant there, boom. I did a little better job with this one, yeah. All right, a little bit anyway. All right, so there's the red, uh, there's a green elephant and there's the red elephant. Now, our key is to determine which elephant is making the biggest footprints. Which elephant is stomping on the ground the loudest? Which elephant has the, the more weight in the market? And if the majority of, if you, if you measure green bars versus red bars and you see that the red bars on average are longer than the green bars on average, then guess what elephant is in control? The bear elephant bar. But if the bear elephant, but if green bars on average are taller than red bars on average, then the green elephant is in control of the market. So bear elephant bars in a bear market dominate and make it clear which elephant is doing the biggest activity, making the biggest noise, all right? And it's the bear elephant bar that has a 70% occurrence rate and an 82% follow through rate in bear markets. This is not the case in bull markets, but in bear markets, it is the case. So 82% of the time you get more follow through. This is what's called 
more follow through. And this bar happens 70% of the time over all other bars. Okay, let's continue. Here's playing the elephant bar under the 20, sloping down. Here's another elephant bar, if you missed that one. Here's another one. It's still near the moving average. You see, this is near the moving average. This is near the other moving average. You just don't want to be playing one down here where it's far away from everything. Play them if they're near. This one's near the 200. You can be near the 200 or near the 20. This one's still near. This one is far. That's not yours. Okay? And we go from flat to wide. We're starting to get wide now. And as you can see, the stock's movement to the downside starts to wane. All right? Look at this beauty. Oracle, all of this is from yesterday. Look at the narrow state. And then, boom! Oh, my God. That is so beautiful, traders. Look at that beautiful elephant bar breaking down. Boom! Protection. <sniffs> Color change. <sniffs> Color change. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And here's the amazing thing is that every single one, I don't know how many people are here today, but there's thousands upon thousands of you. Every single one of you will know how to play this when this occurs. Oliver, I get in right there, or if I miss it, I get in on the next one. I put my protection above that stop, all right? I can add on the next color change. Now I'm in on the full position. So if you got 50,000, right, you can add, you do 25 and then 25. But if you're at the 100, you can do 25, 25, 25, you see? And you can get all three of them. So as you go up the graduation ladder, you get more opportunities, which means more money. Right, but you start off with 50,000. But every single one of you knows how to play this. How do you walk your trade down? Your first protection starts there, all right? Find the next solid bar. Well, you gotta really kinda go a long way to find the next solid one. Boom. And you should be taking profits on these aways though. All right, remember, when you drop away, see that away? You're taking profits, drop away, take some profits, go back up, drop away, take some profits. Away is profit taking time. You can do this. Now, guys, let me just speak directly to you again. Look. I told you that the most important thing I've taught you today, I've taught you a great many things that have importance, but the number one thing is how to protect your money, losing one bar. That's hands down, number one. If there is another thing, if there's a second thing that's almost just as important, let the 20 period moving average tell you which way to bet your money. If the 20 is rising, you bet your money up. If the 20 is declining, you bet your money down. Now take a look at this, right? Take a look at this. This is the second most important thing. Trade with the 20. Look at what the 20 is telling you. It's saying, don't focus on the positive things, the buy things, focus on the sell things. See, don't get fooled by the buy things, you see? This is gonna fool you. The 
pay attention and obey the 20 period moving average. It's telling you only pay attention to, don't pay attention to bottoming tail bars. Pay attention to elephant, bear elephant bars. Pay attention to bear color changes. Look, elephant bar, color change. Elephant bar, color change. Don't pay attention to this. Get the next cell signal. Boom, elephant bar, color change. Look at how many opportunities there, there were. Let's start from here. Color change, protection. Color change, protection. Color change, protection. Elephant bar, protection. Color change, protection. Color change, protection. Profit take, let's do that with a different color. Profit take away, profit take away. So you drop away, profit take away, profit take away. This one play over how long? How long is this? An hour, an hour's work. Some of my traders would do $3,000 on this. You can do it. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, traders. We've looked at that before. So, look, you if you want to do this seriously, you're going to have to ask yourself, number one, is this for me? Does this resonate with me? This does not, this activity we call trading, does not resonate with everyone, traders. All right, I want you to understand that. It does not resonate with everyone. It's not supposed to. This is not for everybody. And in this presentation, you might decide that, look, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't want to press keys on a keyboard. I, I want to climb mountains or whatever it is that turns you on. All right, it's not for everyone. But if something in this presentation touched you, if something resonates with you, and for the vast majority, it should because we all know what's happened in last year. The world got t flipped upside down, but not a single trader was affected. Think about that. Not a single trader lost his job. Not a single trader who's good had a hard time. In fact, N practically nothing changed. If anything, they became more profitable last year. Last year was the biggest year of our careers. So it should resonate with you. Being able to be home or be anywhere you want to, go down to the local Starbucks and trade there. Want to change scenery? Go to the beach. Go to another city, go on vacation and never miss a beat. This should resonate, especially given what's happened last year to the vast majority of you. Now, if it does, you have to ask yourself several things. Do I have what it takes to follow these simple rules? Not losing more than one bar. Trading with the 20 period moving average, not against it. Buying in near the 20, taking profits away from the 20, tracking big bars, losing only one bar when it doesn't work. You have to ask yourself, do you have what it takes to do that? Do you have what it takes to be the 8%? because the majority don't have what it takes. And I know I'm one of the only people in the industry that will tell you that the majority don't have what it takes. But you have to ask, do you have what it takes? Can you do this? I think there's a percentage of you who can, and I'm willing to invest my hard earned capital on you. I'm willing to set you up in your own business. This is not my business. This is your business. I am your trainer. I am your mentor. 
And we will, me and my team will be with you every single day of your life. Making sure you're doing the right thing. You will never be alone. You will never have to worry about money. I will invest the money. And after a certain period of time, if it doesn't work and you have done nothing but lost my money, it's my loss. We shake hands and you go on your merry way. But you will never have to go to your wife or your husband or your significant other, your mother, your father, or whatever it is. You will never have to go to them and ask, can you put money into something? You will never have to do that here. I put up everything. I take the risk.